Good morning, everybody. This is the Faster Way to Fat Loss, and I'm Tiffany. I'm going to be your instructor today, and we are doing a total body workout. So we're going to be working your legs, your shoulders. We're going to be working your chest. So let's get warmed up. So the first thing we're going to do is just we're going to just start jogging. We have to get woke up today. If you're like me, I have to get that blood pumping. So we're just going to do just a light jog just to get started today. So if you're like me, Tennessee, the weather has been up and down, and I'm so glad to see the sunshine today. So the next thing I want to do is just kick your butt. We're going to be working those hamstrings, so we want to kick your butt a little bit more. Now, one of my favorite moves when it comes to the legs is next. We're just going to bend down. And if you can get down low, get down low. And let's stretch. Put your elbows inside your knees. Stretch out. If you can't get down low, so moderation, just get down as low as you can. And you're going to work to getting down low, pushing back. You may want to come up on your toes and rock back on your heels. Get those calves warmed up. But I love this stretch. Now you're going to put your hands in between your feet. Straighten out your legs and push those hamstrings. Stretch them out. Now roll up one vertebrae at a time. Bring your head up. Draw your shoulders back. Now we gotta get those shoulders warm. So if you do Amanda on Mondays, we're gonna rotate our shoulders, arms back. She always do, does these every Monday. Keep your arms straight. If you have wings, you're stretching. Now we're gonna reverse it the other way. You may start feeling a little burn in those shoulders. Now let's make them a little bit larger, but go the opposite direction. Now let's reverse it. Today we're going to be doing supersets. I will help you through all of it, and we'll talk about it in just a little bit. Now let's do big stretch that chest as you go back. Stretch it. Now go the opposite direction. All right, we've almost got warmed up. All right, now shake it out. Like I said, we're doing supersets today. What that is, is two moves back to back. We'll do those moves three times. After we're done with that, we'll move on to our next one. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a squat with a front raise. So what we're gonna do is you're gonna go down in a squat so your legs are gonna be shoulder distance apart. Squat down as far as you can, come up, and then you'll bring your shoulders to a shoulder rest. Not any above your shoulders. So you'll go down as far as you can, and you'll come up to a shoulder rest. I'm gonna use 10 pound weights. You can do it without weights if you want to. So here we go, I'm gonna do 10. And then after that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some old fashioned push-ups. We'll talk about those next. All right, I'll turn to the side for the first one. Okay, go down. Now, raise, that's one. Go down, put all your weight in your heels. Two. Three. We're going down, we're working our glutes. Coming up, we're working our shoulders. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Next, we're going to do push ups. If you're not used to doing push ups, the regular way, you can always stay on your knees and just do a push up like this on your knees. If you don't want to do it that way, you can always do it against the wall. You don't want to get down on the ground. So we're going to do 10 push-ups. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 
10. Good job, everyone. You did so good. Okay, that's the one down. Now we gotta do that cycle two more times. So everybody just take a deep breath and let's get ready to do it again. If you need a drink of water, grab your drink of water. All right, let's grab our weights. Let's do this again. Feet shoulder distance apart. Let's go. One. Up. Sorry, y'all saw me just mess that one up. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Two more, guys. Nine. And ten. All right, let's get back to the push-ups. Let's make those shoulders strong, chest strong. Here we go. One, two, three. You bend that up. Four. Don't let it drop. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, through two, we got one more. So we'll move to our next set. All right, let's work on those glutes, shoulders one more time. Here we go. Down, up, one, two, Remember when you go down, think about those glutes. You work them a lot more when you're really thinking about mind over muscle. Five. You come up. Think about the shoulders. Nine. Last one. Ten. All right. One more set of push-ups. All right, let's get this last one done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure you're breathing. Don't be holding your breath. Breathe out. Breathe in. Move your nose out in your mouth. If you need a drink of water, this is a good time to grab your drink of water. Don't forget where our next two exercises. Let's talk about the next two exercises. It's going to be a reverse lunge with a side lateral raise. Now, when we're doing this reverse lunge, we're going to make sure that we go back and up. Make sure you're not like you're on a tightrope because you'll get off balance. If you get off balance very easily, you can always stay in this plunge and not move your leg. So you can just go down and do five like this while you're doing it. And so you could go down like this and come up. If you are gonna do the actual movement, we will go down, up, down, up. Okay, so that's the lunge with a lateral raise, okay? The next thing we're gonna do is a hip bridge with a pec plot. Now, that is gonna be down on the floor where we're gonna do heels up close to our booty. We're gonna lift that booty up, okay? Working those glutes. This is your hip bridge. A pec glide, we're gonna act like we're gonna be hugging a tree, okay? So when we're down, we're down here. When we come up with our hips, we're gonna hug that tree. So up here we're working chest, down low, we're working glutes. So if we're down, we're down. When we come up, we're gonna hug that tree and pull those glutes up. We're gonna do that for 10 times. You can use a weight, I'm gonna use 10, or don't use a weight at all, whatever you feel comfortable with, okay? So let's start first with our reverse lunge and laterals, okay? 
and we'll start from the side so you can see. So here we go. Like I said, remember, no tightrope because we're going to do it with me because that'll get you off balance. Okay, here we go. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Good job. Now let's get down the floor. Do our hip bridge with our pet fly. All right. Get those ankles up to your butt. Get your arms out. Okay. Now let's squeeze it up. One. Two. Think about that booty. Three. Squeeze. Four, squeeze that chest. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. Grab your water if you need it. We're going to do that two more times. Good job. I have to get some water because my mouth gets so dry. I'm not used to talking so much. I like this music. All right, let's get ready. I'm going to face you this time. And this time I'm going to do kind of the low impact that I was kind of showing you. So we're going to step back like this and we're going to stay this way for five and then we'll move five, okay? So we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five. And the reason I'm doing that is to kind of keep you steady where you don't get off balance until we start working better on our balance and then you can progressively work to the other. Here we go, five, one. So keep a little bit in your arms. If you're with your weights and it gets a little heavy, you can always do this. One more. Good job. Get down the floor. All right. All right, everybody ready? All right, pull those glutes up. One. Squeeze that chest together. Two. Three. Four, five, we're halfway. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, pull it up tight. Ten. Good job. I only have one more of those. Y'all are doing such a great job today. Thank you for showing up today, showing up for yourself. You're doing something great for yourself today, and I appreciate it, and I know your body appreciates that for you. All right, let's do our last set of this exercise. Here we go. One, two, three. Better get down low. Four. Five, my arms are shaking. Six, oh, I think that was six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Yes, my shoulders are giving out. All right, last one on this exercise. Here we go, guys. One. Two, three, four, five, six, rolling those glutes, seven, eight, nine, 
halfway through our exercise now. Halfway through. Can you believe that? Okay, everybody grab a drink of water. Now this next one, whoo, is a little bit of a barn burner. I have to tell you that. All right, here we go. It's called a surrender squat, but I will show you the low impact. You can use it with a dumbbell or without. So what a surrender squat is, is you'll go down on your knees, knees, up, up, that's one. Then you go down with your opposite knee. That's a surrender, surrender squat. Like I said, you can use weights or you don't have to. All right? If you have a hard time getting down on the floor, when we're working surrender squat, we're just working those glutes again. You can do a squat for me. Works the same thing, the booty, okay? Do either one. Then, we got another push-up. But this is called a pipe push-up. It is gonna work our shoulders this time. A pipe push-up is, you get down, like you're upside down, and you're going to push your head like this. A pipe push-up. That could be a hard one. If that's hard for you, we can go and we can just do a shoulder press, okay? All we're doing is standing up straight, pushing our shoulders up, instead of turning our body upside down so we can make it a little bit easier. So you pick your poison on that one, okay? I'll show you both ways as we do it. We're gonna do surrender squat first, okay? I'll do it first. I'm just gonna do the tens today, okay? So here we go, we're gonna start the surrender squat. Here we go, down, up, one. Now switch those feet. Now make sure you come up with your heels, pull up, okay? There's two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, come on, nine, you got it, ten, good job guys, good job, I know that is a hard one to do, hard one to do, okay, pike, push up. Okay, you pick out which one you want to do. I'll start with the harder, a little more advanced move. If not, you're going to just do shoulder press. They work the same thing, okay? Either way. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, guys. That was a hard one. Take you a little breath. Give you a water if you need it after that one. Bring your heart rate down. Sometimes turning your head over like that gets that heart rate up. Okay? I want to bring that heart rate down. So take a deep breath in. Deep breath. You always know if you're able to say some words that I'm saying, then you're ready to go again. Okay? All right, so now let's get. Okay, I'm going to go 20s this time. See how it goes. Surrender squat. Here we go. One. Do as many as you can. Two, you may be behind me, but who cares? You're trying. Remember, progress over perfection. I don't expect you to be perfect. All right, this is four. All right, halfway through it. Okay, there's six. Seven. Eight, only two more. Nine. 
10. All right. I'm going to do the shoulder presses with you this time, okay? Arms out. Okay. I'll go below. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good job, guys. We only have one more set for that one. And then we'll be starting our last exercise through. Okay? You've almost got it. All right. One more surrender squat and we're done. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me. Y'all are doing it. Like I said, get as many as you can. Here we go. One. Two. I know these are hard. Push through it. Three. Four. If it wasn't hard, everybody would do it. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Come on. Two more. One more. Yes. Yes. Okay. One more. Pipe push up. Then we'll get in the last one. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Good job, everyone. Good job. All right. Towel off if you're like me. Got a puddle of sweat up here. Okay, we only got one more round. Two more exercises. Back to back three times. The next one is a good morning. We're going to be working our hamstrings. Good morning. What you're going to do, Keep distance. You're gonna barely bend your legs. And you're gonna act like you're folding a sandwich. You're gonna bend over. Use your buddy's headlights. Show everybody out there your booty. And squeeze up. Okay? We're gonna be pulling with our hamstrings. That's what you're gonna think about. You either do it with weights, without weights. I'm gonna be using 20s today. The next thing is, is another push-up. It's called the rocket push-up. Okay, like I said, this is a little bit challenging in itself. The rocket push-up. You get in a plank, all right? You're going to push yourself back from a plank. Then bring your feet up like you're in a bear crawl. And you're going to sweep yourself up, down. Back like a rocket, sweep up, down. Push back like a rocket. That's called a rocket push up. Okay, that one's very hard. If you do not want to do on your feet, always get on your knees. You're going to do the same motion, okay? And you're just going to rock yourself up, down, push back. Kind of do a swing up, push back. Rock, push, swing up, and then just rock it back, okay? on your knees, okay? That's what we'll do for our low impact, because that is a very hard move. Any type of push-ups is very challenging. Okay, so let's start with our good morning. I'm gonna turn to the side for you. Make sure one thing is you keep your weights close to you, okay? Bend over, with those headlights out, okay? Up, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Nine. Ten. Good job, guys. All right, let's go for that rocket push up. All right, here we go. All right, push it up. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! That works for a total body. That one gets me every time. Working those quads, working that chest. It even gets my back, I think. Working those shoulders. All right, two more. We'll be done for the day. All right, here we go. Good morning. Here we go. One, two. Remember, keep the weights close to you. Four, five. Think about your hamstrings. Can you come up? Using them. Nine. Ten. All right, I'm gonna do low impact with you this time. Try to show you on your knees. All right, we'll go down. Woo, rock it back. Two. Three. Sometimes when you do these on your knees, you might need something under your knees. Four. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, one more round and we are done. Stick with you late today. You're going to be feeling so good. Thinking, what have I done for myself today? Or you may be like me sometimes, I'm like, well, oh, I need a nap. <laughs> All right, let's get this last one done. All right, here we go. One, four, two, three. I want to see those smiles on their faces. We're almost done. Five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, here we go. Last one. Let's do it. One, two, three, four.
stretch this chest with your hands behind your back. Thank you guys for coming with me today. Let's take all a deep breath together. The big inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Back again, that's it. I'm Tiffany, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.